Hello everyone, I'm Hideaki Itsuno, the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven action RPG set in an immersive fantasy world designed to place player choice at the heart of the gameplay experience. The action gameplay is designed to challenge your creativity, and although this is a single-player adventure, AI-controlled companions will accompany you throughout the experience. Today, I'd like to show you a little of what you can expect from the world of Dragon's Dogma 2 with this new gameplay footage. In Dragon's Dogma 2, up to three AI-controlled beings called pawns can join you on your adventures. Players can choose from four starting vocations that determine how they will play. Of course, you will be able to change your vocation at any time by visiting vocation guilds. For now, let's look at the fighter vocation. Wielding a one-handed sword and shield, the fighter excels in melee combat. As a fighter, you can cut down enemies with a sword and protect yourself and your party using your shield. As we keep going, we can see some harpies in the distance. As an archer, you'll be better suited to take down enemies above you. Let's see what they can do. The archer is a vocation that uses a bow and arrow to attack enemies from a distance. Make full use of your arsenal, including exploding or blinding arrows. You can also aim at your enemies like a third-person shooter. The monsters of Dragon's Dogma 2 behave organically in the world around them, and will even react to players by using their wits against you. Next, I would like to show you the mage in action. Mages excel at long-range magical attacks, as well as healing and support spells that bolster your party with various enchantments to give allies an advantage in battle. The more advanced and powerful the magic is, the longer the incantation will take. In addition to the pawns you adventure with, you will occasionally act with other inhabitants of the world. What's this? We're trapped! Lastly, let's take a look at the thief. As a thief, you use daggers to strike at your enemies, relying on agility and quick attacks. Use swift step to quickly move away from enemies after an attack. The key strategy for the thief against massive monsters is to find openings and cling on to the enemy to deal damage. Fighting head-on is always an option but it's a good idea to utilize the environment around you while engaging with enemies. Between your chosen vocation, diverse terrains, and the particular monster you're up against, each encounter challenges players and their party to use their creativity to succeed. Two nations prosper in the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. Vermund, the human kingdom, and Batal, the land of Bistrin. In Vermund, the Arisen who slay the dragon have ruled as kings for generations. This land of lush meadows and rolling hills is ripe for exploration. In contrast, Batal is a rugged canyon nation with a city built on the site of ancient ruins. It is home to the Bistrin and their unique culture. The nation of Batal offers players a different experience from the human kingdom with diverse environments to explore and monsters to encounter. In your adventures, you might come across people who call out to you. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Other times, you might receive quests from people who you aid. Thank heavens. Thought I'd never make it. I might be so bold as to impose upon you again. 
Would you be willing to accompany me to the cemetery and safeguard me from harm? Pawns with knowledge of a quest may be able to guide you to the right location, but it is up to the player to decide whether to follow them or not. Pawns support you throughout your adventures and may come to your aid when you are in trouble. To complete your quests, you can ride ox carts to travel to major locations. But be aware, as you might get attacked en route to your destination and have to decide how to tackle the situation. During the ride, you can choose to close your eyes to quickly arrive at your destination. Time is ever passing, even while riding an ox cart, and the environment around the player constantly changes. Nighttime is especially dangerous. With no light to eliminate your surroundings, you will be enveloped in pitch black darkness where you can't even see your feet. Also, there are dangerous monsters that only appear at night, so you need to be careful when adventuring in the dark. If you have a camping kit, you can find a campsite to spend the night and recover your health. Good evening, Arisen. Tis the honor of my life to share your journey, Arisen. To wrap up, I'd like to introduce some advanced vocations that become available as you progress in the story. The Mystic Spear Hand combines magic attacks and weapon-based physical attacks. A good all-rounder, they use their duo spear at close range and magic at long range. They can also use magic to block an enemy's movement or throw multiple items at once. The Magic Archer is a vocation that further specializes in long-range attacks with magical arrows. On top of healing and providing support to your allies, they can learn a skill that releases a powerful attack over a wide area in exchange for reducing their own maximum HP. And of course, there are other unique vocations you can look forward to. We have a playable version of Dragon's Dogma 2 at the Tokyo Game Show Capcom booth. Depending on the choices they make, each player can experience very different playthroughs. We're very much looking forward to the impressions of those who get a chance to play. Dragon's Dogma 2 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. Please stay tuned for more information. Thank you.